Now, would you look at that? Look at how clean this looks. Guys, in this video, I'm going to be showing you 10 iPhone hacks that work in iOS 10. This is part three of this series, and I'm going to be showing you this, how to remove your icon labels, even the status bar if you so choose. Also, how to remove system animations and even free up storage if you guys are completely full. So I've got a bunch of cool hacks and tricks in here that you guys may not know about. So let's get into it. Now you'll notice that some of these tricks and hacks are familiar. They just have new methods of activation in iOS 10. So let's begin with the storage hack. So if you guys are running low on storage, you can't even take a picture in some cases because you just don't have any storage. Well, it turns out a lot of apps are feeding off of your storage with a bunch of junk cached apps. And we can go ahead and clear that using a new trick. Previously, we would use the iTunes store to try and download a really big movie. Now, if you do that, it'll just let you rent that movie. So we've got a better one jump into the app store, but first actually go into your settings and see how much storage you have. And I actually picked up the wrong iPhone. There we are. So we have 56.4 megabytes left. Let's see how much of that we can clear up. This is especially useful on a 16 gigabyte device. So jump into the app store and find any app that's free or maybe you've even downloaded before, but is extremely big. So I'm going to try Hearthstone over here. And basically when we try and download a big app, it's going to go ahead and not let us, but at the same time, it will be clearing those caches. So previously we had um, 56.4. I'm going to attempt to download this and um, you may have to do it a couple times, but eventually you will get a message that you just don't have enough storage. If it does download, you can delete it right after, but jumping into settings, let's see. It did clear up a good 50 something megabytes. Now, the reason it didn't clear up more for me is because I don't actually use this phone. I just downloaded a bunch of apps and none of them have actually been used. So there's not much cached files. You who have been using your phone for who knows how long already have a bunch of cached files. So this could potentially clear up to two gigabytes. Let me know down below how much it cleared for you. I'm very curious. And this does work on 10.2. So how can we get this beautiful and clean look without any labels? even without a status bar, if you so choose. Now, first off, I got to give a shout out to iDevice help for the labels on the icons. As for the status bar, I did find that one. So we're going to jump into a device that doesn't have this enabled. And first things first, we do have to go into general accessibility and enable reduce motion. So you want to make sure reduce motion is checked. So now just on the bottom slide up on the control center, hold it up and click home. You'll notice this weird glitch effect. And boom, just like that, the bottom row of icons do not have labels. Now, I know this could take a little while, so just pop these guys out. And from the top, I just want to go ahead and pop these in. And we're going to repeat the process for all of the icons we don't want labels on. So swipe up this and drop them back in. So just like that, you do have to repeat this. It's a little annoying, but the cool thing is this does last until you restart your iPhone. As long as you have reduce motion on. So big shout out to iDevice help for that. I'll leave a link to the original video down below, but it's a really, really nice way to get a clean look on your device. All right. So now that I do have the labels missing, I want to show you guys that they do remain missing after I lock the device and unlock it. So that's cool. But how do you ditch the status bar? I know it's nice, but it actually gives a really clean look to not have it. So just go ahead and hold the power button from wherever in the iPhone as if you were about to turn it off then grab the slider and just hang on to it. So you need to receive a notification, a message works to your phone. So once you get that notification like that, go ahead and just click on it. And now when you leave to the home screen, just like that, the status bar is gone. Whoops, almost dropped that. I don't want to drop this guy. All right, so the only thing is with this, it looks clean on the home screen. Once you do go into an application, it does return in here and then it triggers a timer and eventually it will return to the home screen. If any of you guys could figure out a way to make it permanent, that would be pretty cool. So I just wanted to add this little one in here. How to create blank folder names. So if you don't want a name in a folder, you can do the first method, but if you restart your iPhone, it does go away and you have to repeat it. This way is permanent. So there's some text you can add inside of it that will allow it to keep it blank. So I'm just going to leave a link down below to this website right here. Go ahead and select in these red parentheses, this text. And if we want to rename it, just paste that in there 
and now you guys will have a blank folder name. So it's really cool, clean look for folders. Next up, how to record video from your lock screen in secret. So previously you were able to do this with a completely black device uh, screen off. Now that's no longer possible, but there's still a way to disguise it. So for the best possible result, it's recommended that you do go into accessibility and turn on increased contrast. So now let's go to the lock screen and go to our camera. So here, go to the video tab, click on it, start recording, and I'm gonna put the sound on so you guys can hear it. And anyways, just click the home button. So now your device is still recording in the background, but you cannot tell. It looks like you're just sitting here entering your passcode. So if I actually click the volume down, it stops the video, click it again, and it can start the video also. Now this also works for taking secret pictures. So if we go back to the lock screen, go to photos, click the home button, now we can take pictures in the background. So I'm gonna take a few right now, then we're gonna go into our photos and check them out. And as you can see, all of those photos I was taking, it will not make a shutter sound even with the volume on, which is cool. So you can take photos or videos in secret using a disguised screen. Now this one's actually really interesting, how to add custom fonts and colors to Snapchat. So this is actually a glitch, it's not supposed to work, because as I cycle through, it goes away. I know this isn't directly iOS related, but it's still a nice hack for any iPhone. So I'm gonna let you guys know uh, this website right here, starfee.github.io, I'll leave a link in the description, where you can type size, font, and choose rainbow color if you want. So we can even choose this app, Fino, down here, and get this really, really cool looking font, select all of it, go into Snapchat right here, and whoops wrong one so it needs to be on this setting right here and look at that you can get this really really cool looking text in your snaps now this one still works in ios 10 and i'm very happy for it so some of us don't like to update all the time we don't want to update for whatever reason but in the background ios is always downloading the updates taking up space annoying us every single day to update so first thing you want to do is go ahead and delete that update and we never want to see it again so let's delete it from our phone first and then i'm going to give you guys a link to visit and when you do visit it it's basically the apple tv profile so it'll open this up on your device and don't worry it's safe you can remove it at any time but basically it's tricking your device into thinking it's an apple tv so you will never get another update notification after this now this one is my personal favorite because i do use it on a daily basis it is so handy basically how to get your device to dim even more than apple lets you this is especially useful at night times when you need an even dimmer display and you can set a shortcut for three clicks of the home button and it will dim automatically basically way more than Apple lets you usually. So go into settings, general accessibility, and go into zoom. So in here, you wanna go ahead and select zoom region, full screen zoom, zoom filter, low light, and do this maximum zoom level all the way down to 1.2. So we're gonna go back into accessibility shortcut and select zoom. Now go back into zoom and enable it. So initially, this is what it's gonna look like. It's gonna be a little bit zoomed in, but double tap with three fingers, and now the shortcut is set. So every time you triple click your device, it will dim the display. Now warning, this will slow your device down. Now, as every time you click the home button or app switcher, there will be a little bit of lag or delay as your device is waiting to see if you're gonna triple click. So take note, it will slow your device down, but it's a very handy shortcut. So I'm sure many of you guys remember this bug. It actually existed a while before that would allow you to completely disable system animations and in turn make your old device feel like 10 times faster it applied to anything locking and unlocking your device everything would be instant there's no drawn out animation especially in the app switcher so it makes it feel much better so how do we do this now there's a catch you can do it but only on the iphone 5 and 5s i have not found a way to do this on any newer devices it does work on some ipads as well i just haven't verified it so it's a very simple way to do this and uh, it will make your device feel so much faster, seriously. So down below in the description, I'm gonna leave you guys a link to go to this website right here. We're gonna pick up a couple of wallpapers. So click on the first link, black in black, and go ahead and save the wallpaper from down here. So just hold it 
and select save image. Then we're gonna go back, scroll down to the all gray one, and we're gonna do the same thing. So just save the all gray one. By the way, for those wondering, this is completely harmless. Just restart your phone, which I'm about to do, and it will go away. All right, so I just restarted my iPhone 5 and the animations are back. So let's go into settings and we're gonna add a new wallpaper. Notice how slow it is now, but choose new wallpaper and we're gonna go ahead and select those that we downloaded. Go ahead and select the black one first, select still, set and set both, and then quickly click the home button. And we're gonna keep repeating this until it works. For some reason, it just tweaks out and eventually it starts working. So it can take several tries and not this one. It's either the black or the gray in still. So keep doing this until it works. But I'll tell you one thing that helps trigger it so if we go into still, as soon as you click set both, click the home button. And I think I, no, I didn't, it's not yet. But eventually it will start working. Oh, there we go. And just like that, it started working. So I had to switch the wallpaper back and forth about 10 times and it went ahead and started working out of nowhere. These are the only devices that it works on, but you can get a much faster device through this animation glitch. And this one has been around for a while, but it's very cool. How to get round folders. It's just been updated for iOS 10, so it does now support the latest firmwares. So basically you'll go to this page, link down below, go ahead and save a wallpaper from it. Now go ahead and set this as your wallpaper. And I believe it can be both in still or perspective. I think it works in both but set it as still, and now you guys will get round little folders, and it looks really, really cool. You can still hide apps temporarily until you reboot. So if you guys want to play a prank on someone or hide the pesky health app or whatever app it is that Apple still doesn't let you remove, you can do that, and it's very, very simple. So what you need to do is have a full page of apps. Go ahead and take the app you want to hide over here and uh, just go ahead and set it onto an app as if you were about to make a folder. So do not drop it, go ahead and take it back out, just put it on the dock and watch it disappear. So you will not find that anywhere. You can search for it in Spotlight, but until you reboot, it will be physically hidden on the home screen. So just a neat little way how to hide apps. And guys, there it is. Those are 10 hacks and tricks for iOS 10 that I think are really, really cool and could enhance your device, even make the functionality better. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to check out part one and part two. There's still some in those that do work on the latest iOS 10 firmware. Anyways, hope you enjoyed these. Have a great day. Peace.